Cranial nerves 9 and 10, which are the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves, mediate the sensory and motor functions of the palate, pharynx, and larynx. I'd like to take a look at the back of your throat. Can you open your mouth? To test really these nerves, ask ah. the patient to say ah or ah. yawn as you observe the soft palate and the uvula. The soft palate should rise promptly and symmetrically, and the uvula should remain midline. I'm going to ask Next, you to say, ah, test the again. gag reflex it's one side at a time. Using a tongue blade, say, ah. touch one side of the pharynx, then the ah. other. You should see a prompt rise of the palate and other signs of gagging. Finally, ask the patient to swallow. It should be done without difficulty or regurgitation. Cranial nerve 11, the spinal accessory nerve, innervates the sternomastoid and upper trapezius muscles. I'm going to test the strength of your shoulders. To I'm assess this nerve, ask the patient to shrug his shoulders upward against your hands. Your shoulders against your During this maneuver, evaluate the strength and contraction of the trapezius muscles. Good. Can you turn your head to Then the ask the patient to turn his head to each side against your hand. Observe the contraction of the opposite sternomastoid muscle and note the force of movement against your hand. Cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve, mediates motor functions of the tongue, which in turn affect articulation of words. Inspect the patient's tongue as it lies on the floor of his mouth. Observe for fasciculations. There should be none. Ask the patient to stick at his tongue. Note any asymmetry, deviation, or atrophy. The tongue should protrude straight out.